Before this video starts, make sure to drop a like. Let's aim for 30 likes on this video and also make sure to stay till the very end because there are five games and game five is for sure the best one. What's up guys, it's King Josh back with another video and as you guys can see by the title and the thumbnail, today I've got Anthony Davis at the park for you guys. And if you guys have been living under a rock, Anthony Davis was traded to the Lakers for Lonzo Ball, Brandon Ingram, Josh Hart, and three first round picks. And in game number one, you can see we're going up against two elite threes. One is a pure stretch four, another one is a shot creating post score. Their records are not that great for Elite Threes, but they are for sure experienced players with good builds. And for now, let's just say the beginning of the game didn't go too great. We're down 12 to 0 right here. Randy's gonna do a behind the back drive in. He's gonna pass out. I get kind of a bad release, but luckily it does end up going in. We did end up turning the ball over once again, but they ended up only scoring one three pointer and then this stretch bricked in takeover somehow. To start things off, I wanted to take it into the paint, see if they're gonna double team. This stretch kind of is double teaming. He's trying to bait me, it looks like. So I'm just gonna take a post fade, create enough space, and hit the shot. So we're still down by 10, not looking too good. We definitely don't want to turn the ball over because the stretch big still has takeover. Next play, Randy's gonna give the ball to me off the inbound. I'm gonna go into the post once again, and they decide to give me enough space, so I split the defense and get an easy dunk to go. So right here, we're only down by five. They leave me wide open. I get a huge lag spike, and I somehow still hit the shot, and I do get takeover. So I'm gonna take it into the post, see what they're gonna do. They leave Randy wide open in the corner. Of course, he's gonna drain the shot, and we do take the lead. So we're up 15 to 16. This guy's reaching. They double team me again, leave Randy wide open. He's gonna hit the shot, and all we need is a two-pointer. So I'm just gonna go into the post. They're gonna double team and leave Randy wide open for the third time in a row. Don't know why. He's gonna green the shot, and that's gonna be the end of the first game. In game number two, we're going up against a sharpshooting playmaker and a two-way shot creator. And right here, the two-way shot creator decides not to move. I have no idea why, but that's gonna leave me to get a wide open dunk. Off the inbound, once again, the shot creator decides not to move. I don't know what he was doing towards the beginning of the game, but I'll definitely take it because it does let my takeover meter go up. So right here, the shot creator's gonna get an open mid-range and miss it somehow. Randy's gonna get a rebound. I'm gonna drive in. Euro in between two defenders, get a lightly contested layup to fall. And then we're making it too easy for us. Right here, they're gonna double team me, leave Randy wide open in the corner. And just like that, I got my takeover. And when I activated it, he just sat in the paint. So I decided to take a post hop shot, wide open, full bar. Get that to fall. Somehow it wasn't green, but I'll take the make. And once again, he makes it way too easy for me by just sitting in the paint. That shot's gonna be open and I'm gonna hit it. So all we need is five more points. So right here, Randy's gonna hand it to me off the inbound. This shot creator is still not guarding me. I'm gonna pull up for mid-range, green the shot. And now all we need is a three-pointer or two two-pointers. And Randy has takeover as well. So we got two threats on the court right now. And this guy decides to make the same mistake for the third time in a row. He's sitting in the paint, leaving the post hop shots and the post fades wide open. And along with that too, he's leaving the mid-range wide open. I'm gonna green the mid-range, finish the game with 16 points and two assists. In game number three, we went up against a pure stretch four and a sharp shooting post scorer. And this pure stretch four has played 6,200 games, which I find crazy. I don't care how somebody can play 2K that much. But anyway, to start the game off, I just decided to give it to Randy, let him ISO because there were two bigs, he could just blow by one of them and pass out if needed. Right here he's gonna get the easy layup to start the game. And right here this stretch big went for a steal off the inbound so I decided to create a bunch of space for Randy with the screen as he's gonna green the three. And right here they make a big mistake by double teaming Randy, leaving me wide open in the corner. I'm gonna green the three, it looks contested low key because he kinda got back so it was open instead of wide open. But if he never sagged off in the first place that never would've happened. And speaking of sagging off, they're gonna leave Randy wide open, he's gonna green a another three he is cooking this stretch big right now and after that happened I tried to take a layup on offense but I ended up stepping back out of bounds by accident and right here all this post score was trying to do is post speed boost go baseline but I was defending it really well as you can see the shot clock's low and he's gonna horribly brick an open shot on a post score which is crazy to me because it wasn't a full bar he wouldn't have bricked it that bad right here I'm not gonna get a full bar from the corner but I do end up hitting it and so far in this game all I've hit are three pointers so it's time to change that Randy's gonna give it to me off the inbound I'm gonna drive right past my guy because he's reaching get a nice reverse dunk do a little flashy Dwayne Wade head through the rim type stuff after that play Randy ended up hitting another three pointer and watch how we're gonna end them off Randy's gonna pass to me right here on the wing I'm gonna drive in get a nice crossover past this guy and get a between the legs posterizer on the stretch big in game number four we're going up against a shot creating sharpshooter who's played 5,000 games 
And this rebounding rim protector whose record is horrible. I guess the sharpshooter just wanted to play games, so he picked up a random or whatever. But anyway, to start off game number four, I'm gonna get a dime to Randy. He's not gonna set his feet on the shot, but he's still gonna get it to go. And speaking of dime, right here, Randy puts the ball through this guy's legs. I run to the corner, Randy gets double teamed, and I green the three. And this game is off to a great start. Right here, we're up eight to zero. I'm gonna spin right into the paint, get a nice flashy dunk. And it's funny because the guy that was guarding me, he's a rim protector and he still can't guard me. I have eight points on him. We have 13 points as a team. We are just cooking both of them on defense. Right here, I'm gonna go into the post, try to get takeover, but Randy does end up getting wide open. I don't understand why they don't guard him. He's not gonna green the three. He does end up breaking it, and I don't get a good rebounding animation. Right here, this rim protector had an open shot in the paint, but the sharpshooter decides to not pass it. He pulls the three instead, and he does drain it. So they did score. I thought we were going to shut them out this game because their defense was horrible. But that doesn't really matter. As long as we win, we'll be good. So these guys had horrible defense, and their offense was pretty horrible right here. I should have gotten the steal. Somehow didn't get it to fall. And this rim protector is going to take a horrible shot. Don't know how that wasn't heavily contested. Right here, he's going to end up reaching. I try to get a blow by, but it doesn't work, of course, because he's a rim protector. And right here, I am out of energy, so I do end up giving it to Randy. And the rest of this possession did not go too well. Randy's going to get a nice cut here, but they do end up getting there in time to contest the shot. So this sharpshooter is going to end up taking it back. Randy's going to try to go for the steal, so he's going to drive right past Randy right here and get a nice layup to fall. Surprisingly, in this next play, I did end up getting takeover from body contact, but he did end up missing the shot, getting the board, and then he ended up passing out of his shot. I don't know why. Like, the shot wasn't good to begin with, but it's not much better if you pass out of the shot and get a turnover. So right here, I do have takeover, and he doesn't have his rim protector badge, so I can pretty much score at will. Right here, I'm going to wait for the sharp to move so it can be a one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to drive right past him, get a nice hop into the paint, dunk the ball down, and I don't know why he was playing so up on me. I am a post scorer, and he was guarding me like a stretch big. That's none of my business. Right here, I'm going to give the ball to Randy. He's going to dribble right past both defenders with a nice behind the back and get an easy dunk to fall. So right here, we had 17. I was feeling really good about this game because this rim protector can't play defense. I told Randy to give me back the ball, and look at what I did. Right here, I'm going to take the ball to the three-point line, pull a moving shot, a horrible shot, and I drained it. I don't know how it went in. I couldn't even see the meter. It said late. But I still hit the shot. And right here, Randy's going to give the ball back to me because I wanted to end the game off. This rim protector is jumping at me. I don't know why. Now he's reaching. And this guy almost gets the steal. I dive for the ball. I shoot it. Yeah, I, I, I didn't make the shot, guys. But anyway, Randy's going to give me back the ball. I could have pulled the three, but I'm just going to drive right past this guy and get a green over the rim protector to end the game. Right here, I've got the fifth and final game for you guys. These guys decided to pull up with a sharpshooting rebounder and a shot creating post scorer. So they got two bigs. I have to guard a post scorer who can pretty much body me if he tried. And Randy has to guard a glass cleaner who can also shoot threes. So we were feeling good about this game because the records weren't that good and we won every other game. But their builds are really good and they kind of could use it to exploit. But anyway, to start the game off, I'm going to hit this guy with the hezzy, get him to freeze for a second and get an easy dunk. In the very next play, I decide to hit this guy with a jab step, start to drive, get a spin move, get him to get way off of me. I don't know what type of defense he was playing. I have no idea who he was guarding, but he was definitely not on me. As you can see, I get him with the wide open dunk after that nice spin. So I'm going to give the ball to Randy right here. Let him get right past this guy. Since he is guarding a glass cleaner, he could probably blow by him really fast. And he's going to green the three. And while we were playing, I thought that was a contested shot because the glass cleaner is really tall. So I thought he would lightly contest it, but nope, that was an open shot. Right here, I'm going to give him the ball once again. Let him work. I'm going to see if this guy guards me when Randy drives in. Right here, he's kind of in between us, so I decide not to pull that shot in the corner. But I'm going to spin right past him, get an easy reverse layup to fall. And although these guys had good builds, they were lacking on defense. Right here, Randy's open. He's going to do a fake pass, get his guy jumping, get my guy jumping. And I do end up not getting a full bar because I did get an awkward catch animation, but I still end up draining that mid-range shot. And that was an amazing play by the both of us, I think. He's in a flashy pass to me. I'm just doing triple threat moves, trying to get past my guy. I end up passing out of the shot, giving Randy the ball. He's just dribbling right past his defender because he has very low lateral quickness. He's going to do a nice spin move, get his guy jumping, and get an easy layup to fall. And at this point in the game, we did end up turning the ball over. But anyway, Randy and I both have eight points. And this post scorer decides to take a horrible shot. Don't know what he's doing. Sometimes that shot goes in, sometimes it doesn't. It's like a 50-50 chance. But anyway, I'm going to hit Randy for the wide open mid-range. He does make it, and we both get takeover from that shot. And right after we got takeover, I got a bad layup animation, so I did miss the shot, but I did make up for it on defense. As you can see, I'm lightly contesting this post scorer shot. 
right here. Randy's going right past this guy, getting me wide open for mid-range. I'm going to green the shot. And all we need is a quick two-pointer or a quick three-pointer to end them off. So right here, this guy's kind of giving me space, but I don't want to pull the mid-range. I want to get a nice shot. Right here, I'm going to flashy pass to Randy. He's dribbling past his guy. He's going to end up giving it back to me on the wing. I'm going to get my guy jumping and then get kind of open, at least open enough to green the shot to end the game. And if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like. Let's try to get this video to 30 likes. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been King Josh, and I'm out. Peace.